What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Today we are still doing the cam swap on Zorro and we are to the point where we need to put our lockout and our phaser and so what we have is a comp cams lockout kit. This is what the little lockout looks like. Uh, smaller cams usually require a limiter, a little bit different, um, kind of the same procedure, just a little bit, little bit different on the lockout. So, first thing we got to do is we got to take this tool and put it over the pin on the phaser. So we're going to do that real quick. So this tool, you see it's got kind of like a little fork or a field goal kind of looking thing, whatever you want to call it. And it's got a little adjusting bolt on the back on your phaser you have a pin right here and how this guy works is you slide this those forks over that pin then you thread down the screw finger tight until it stops and then you get your allen head and you turn it one complete turn and that's all you got to do so we're going to go one full turn and that takes the spring tension off of the phaser so that we can go on to the next step. After you do that, also these things come with instructions. Just make sure you read them and do exactly what it says because you can mess this up pretty simple by not paying attention. So the first thing you're gonna notice in the instructions, <clears throat> it's gonna tell you on this particular screw, so if you're holding your phaser and your lockout clamp device right here it's this screw right here do not take that screw all the way out this screw gets loosened about one turn that's all and then the rest of these screws will come out but this screw you're going to loosen one turn it stays in do not take it out if you take it out you're not going to be happy now that we got our lockout tool installed this bolt right here that I said do not take all the way out you just loosen this this screw about one turn don't take out the screw <laughs> so here we go it's a t25 we're gonna bust it loose and we're just gonna loosen it about right there now the rest we're gonna take all the way out so we're gonna get our gun Bust them out. And also note, you got out of these screws, you got one that's longer. It has like a pin on it. That's the one that goes where your tool's installed. So just remember that one goes there. So now that we got that, we're gonna slide the plate just like so and that's the reason we don't take this screw all the way out so that we can just slide it over and now we got to get our lockout device and per the instructions like I said this this stuff will tell you how everything goes but wherever it is there it is so right there you're gonna install this this has a, an allen head little set screw that's inside right here and we're gonna make sure that that screws loose for right now just kind of back it off and then we're gonna drop it in here's our tool and it goes in this pocket right here so it drops in just like so after that get our allen head oh wrong one and you tighten this set screw up and 
until the lock pin does not move as in it can't come it can't slide up and down basically what this plug does is it just kind of swells that lockout up that's why it's one one side of it has like a, a cutout in it and it just wedges it against the phaser so that should be it so we got our phaser lockout installed we're gonna slide our plate back over remember the long pin goes here and what we're gonna do on each one of these screws we're just gonna clean them up with some brake cleaner real quick and then we're gonna kind of dry them off blue loctite just to drop slide it in the hole here and we're gonna start this by hand snug it down and then clean each individual one repeat process till done all right so we got all of our screws started we're going to tighten them up and that is it now we're going to remove our cam lock tool i get the right allen head here And now your phaser is ready to be installed when you're ready to put a cam in. So that's all there is to it, to put the cam lock out or a limiter in your phaser. So next step, um, we're gonna start getting these heads ready, break them down. We gotta put new springs in the heads, um, clean the heads up and new valve seals, all that mess. So stay tuned. We're gonna be having that coming up here shortly.